Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. We are tracking a uh, low end threat for potentially severe weather later this week, but whatever rain we get overnight tonight will not be severe. It's just going to be a healthy rain that most of us will see, especially during the overnight hours. A few of you have seen some sprinkles today, including in Huntsville. Here's a look at our Way 31 Sky Cam Network brought to you by Thompson Roofing and Construction. Cloudy skies out there, but despite that, a little bit warmer today than it's been in recent days. Huntsville did manage to get to the low 60s this afternoon, and that is still where we stand at this moment. But again, passing light showers being picked up on the way 31 storm tracker early warning radar network. These are probably not much more than some sprinkles, so I don't think you need to bust out the umbrella necessarily for whatever is going to pass through over the next few hours. But what's coming our way overnight tonight will be on the heavier side, so definitely want to keep that in mind between now and eight nine o'clock. Rain chances on the low end, and if we do see the rain, it will be pretty light. Temperatures will fall back to the mid 50s by uh, shortly after sunset and probably going to stay put there for the rest of the night tonight. Let's get to your storm tracker future radar again. Nothing more than passing light showers through most of this evening, but we get to the late evening hours. Uh, once most of us are heading to bed, that's when the rain will become a little more consistent and a little bit on the heavier side, especially across far north Alabama and into Tennessee. That's where the heaviest of the rain likely is going to develop. This is fresh data uh, from our model showing again just uh, areas uh, will receive pretty consistent rain across the far northern part of our viewing area, maybe farther south. Once you get closer to Birmingham, they maybe don't get as much rain overnight tonight, but it looks like it'll be a fairly soaking rain for many of us from Muscle Shoals over to Athens and in Huntsville. Now let's talk about when you step outside tomorrow morning, seven o'clock, and we are still dealing with lingering showers. Farther north and west you go, the drier it's going to be when you step outside tomorrow morning. I'm not ruling out the possibility of some lingering rain in the Rocket City early tomorrow, but we should see that clear out near or shortly after daybreak. By the afternoon, we might even get some sunshine. It could feel pretty darn nice outside by tomorrow afternoon uh, compared to what it's going to look like early in the day on Tuesday. Now, rain totals will vary, probably lighter to the south, but you get that little stretch here across far north Alabama into southern middle Tennessee, and that's where we could see upwards of one inch of rain with this first round alone. We have additional chances at rain that we'll talk about here in just a second. Once that rain clears out, we are looking at pretty solid temperatures tomorrow, climbing well into the 60s. Forecast high in Huntsville, 67. Many of you could get awfully close to 70 degrees on Tuesday, and if you don't get there tomorrow, you might even have a better chance on Wednesday with Muscle Shoals forecast to reach 70 degrees. 69 is our forecast high in Huntsville. Now, with that warmth around this time of the year, you know there will likely be a price to pay, and that is the threat for some thunderstorms and potentially severe weather. Thankfully, the biggest threat for severe storms will be to our west from East Texas into parts of Mississippi, but we do still have a level one risk for severe storms, particularly Wednesday night into early Thursday morning for the western half of our viewing area. That does include the shoals. So here's a look at future radar for a couple of days from now. During the daytime Wednesday, just isolated activity. Most of us are dry. It's really going to be after midnight that we'll have a developing line of thunderstorms start out west, drift toward uh, central parts of our viewing area, probably arriving in Huntsville just before sunrise on Thursday, and it kind of weakens as it continues that drift eastward. So we'll keep you uh, apprised of any severe threat as we get closer. We'll have a fresh outlook from the Storm Prediction Center tomorrow morning with meteorologist Carson Meredith. Here's your seven-day forecast. Highs in the 60s tomorrow through Thursday, dipping back down to the 50s late this week and more rain likely Saturday night into Sunday.